So students stood in front of the main doors here at the high school after walking out of the building in protest of Pennsylvania's new indoor mask mandate for schools that went into effect today. Why should I have to listen to them now after I've listened to every single thing they've told me? This morning, about 40 Greater Latrobe High Schoolers and parents protesting the indoor mask mandate for Pennsylvania schools. This is the group a little after 8 a.m. maskless and standing outside the school building. Some walked out, others didn't make it in. I've never seen so many teachers in front of the school kind of like police forcing the front and then handing out masks to all the kids who didn't have one. We saw administrators in the parking lot before the group gathered. Last week, the district told parents they will comply with the state order, allowing mask breaks throughout the school day. Students, a part of this walkout, say they want mask wearing to be optional. I think parents should have the option for their kids to wear masks or not. At least one parent, Cynthia Sarp, supports mask wearing for everyone in the building. Children have a right to protest, but what they're protesting is ridiculous. Previously, Governor Tom Wolf said there wouldn't be a mandate for schools, but reversed his decision. Acting State Health Secretary Allison Beam citing a 300% rise in COVID-19 cases among children in recent weeks. SARP treats COVID-19 patients working as a nurse, her daughter a senior at the high school. I would much, much rather see my daughter wear a mask than watch her suffering, to, struggling to breathe in the hospital. So this group of students here, they were a part of the walkout and they are going home today. And we know at least one student was picked up by her parent. The mom told me that the district is requiring mask wearing inside of the school building. The mom told me that they are refusing to do that. So they went home and will do online learning today. Reporting in Westmoreland County, Kylie Walker, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.